Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, we're gonna dive into how does Tableau Prep decide on what name to give a group based on your grouping selections, okay? So I think there's probably two different ways to think about this. There's, if you use Tableau's automated grouping features, things like group on common characters or pronunciation, and then there's also the options that are more so like uh, if you do manual grouping. Okay, so let's start with if you use the automated features. All right, I got a little data set here. It's got some typos, so you can see like Tacoma, the city name Tacoma is a good example. There's some places where Tacoma has a C and some places where it has a K, all right? So if you try to use Tableau's automated features to group these together, like so I'll go into the more options section here for city, I'm gonna to go to group values and I'll say something like group on pronunciation. What it does is it picks the more common or the more populous of the two values. So what I mean by that is there are 190 records where Tacoma is spelled correctly and then there's eight records where it's spelled incorrectly with a K. So in that case, if I go in here and I do my group values on pronunciation, give it a moment, let it do its thing. Okay, here we are, here is Tacoma, now 198 records. And if I click on that, I'll see that there are two different values that were grouped together, Tacoma with a C, Tacoma with the K. How did it choose that? Tacoma with a C was the more common of those two values in the data set. Okay, so let me add a different clean step so we can kind of take this fresh. What if you manually group, right? What if I say, you know, there's only a couple of these one-off places where the values need to be grouped. I don't need to use this fancy feature. I'm just gonna do it by hand. That's a little different, okay? Quick side note before we dive into that, check out this info button up here in the top corner. Uh, Ollie and I run Tableau classes every single month. Tableau prep, Tableau desktop, uh, dashboarding, calculations, beginners, advanced, everybody in between. We'd love to meet you. We love to get into topics here on YouTube, but we love to teach in a lot more detail in our classes. So feel free to check that out, okay? And now back to our manual grouping. Okay, so check this out. When you decide to manually group values together, it's gonna keep the, or it's gonna give the, uh, how should I say this? The name of the group is gonna be whatever value you selected last, okay? So let's say I'm like Tacoma, Tahoma, Tacoma with a K. Uh, these should all get grouped together. I just did that in alphabetical order. So now if I right click and I say group values, what does it do? It just grouped them all into, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. There we go. It just grouped them all into Tacoma with a K, all right? However, if I decided to do that the other way around, if I'd gone in the inverse order there, so if I can go back a step without this, uh, Taking all day here, there we go. Tacoma with a K, and then Tahoma, and then Tacoma with a C. And now I right click, and now I group my values. Okay, now it's gonna group them, you know, or I guess I should say the same thing. It's gonna group them based on our last selection. My last selection there was Tacoma with a C, so that's the group name in Inherits. So yeah, we hope that this was an illuminating video and it taught you a little bit more about how Tableau Prep decides to assign names to the groups that you create. Thanks for tagging along. Uh, we do Tableau videos like this every week, so feel free to follow along and catch us for our video here next week. Thanks.